Okay, so this is the screencast for the GP draw assignment. So the first thing you need to do, you need to be able to get the methods that are included with the uh, drawing tool class. And those are provided in a file called gpdraw.jar. So I'm going to download that and I'm going to show you how to, you, how to import those into, so that you can actually use them. Right, move that to the desktop. And I already have my code with me. So, so I will download that right now. So now we're going to open BlueJay. And this is the process to import or so that you can actually use uh, GPDraw and the classes and the methods that are uh, included with GPDraw. So you have to, uh, in this main window, you go into tools and then preferences. And then now you have to go into libraries. And this is where you import various jar files along with the default uh, files and libraries that Java includes. So you press this add button right here. And now you locate uh, where you've put your GP draw file. And I've put that on the desktop. So I'm going to click that. And OK. And now you're going to have to close out BlueJay and open it up again so that you can actually use it. Okay, so now nothing looks different, but the only difference is that now the everything that was in the GP draw class can be used and imported. So I'm going to close this. Okay. I'm going to open. What? Okay. Ah. Uh, can I pull this? Okay, so I don't seem to have my code, but I've, I've saved it, so I'm going to copy and paste it. And so my class was called DrawHouse. Uh, and so the good thing about the DrawHouse class is that you don't need to make it an applet or use any JFrames because it will automatically open a window uh, from which it will draw everything that you tell it to. Uh, let me grab my code. Here we go. And so notice at the top, along with the usual libraries, we also have this, this line. This is uh, why we even imp uh, did that thing with the libraries. Uh, we have to do import gpdraw asterisk because uh, gpdraw might have its own subclasses which have methods that are useful. And so we'd like to include everything that's part of gpdraw. And so this is a normal Java program. We have a class and we have a public static void main string args. And so to use them, we have to define, we have mostly two things, or maybe one thing. We have drawing tool. This is the object that, um, the default object of the GP draw file. It's basically a drawing implement that you can control and draw stuff. Uh, and we have to, and this constructor, uh, this uh, highlighted piece of code creates a new sketch pad or window from which onto which we can draw using our drawing tool, which we've called pencil. So this method right here, so the, each drawing tool at every specific moment has a position, which is in x coordinates, and it also has a direction. Uh, when you do pencil.home, what that does, it goes to the origin, which is set as the middle center of the window, and it points upward. So, uh, so it would be in the middle and pointing upward. And the forward method, Whenever you do forward, and let's say any argument, in this case 200, it goes in the direction that's already in, and it goes forward 200 pixels. Not in necessarily in any specific x or y value, but in terms of direction and distance from its starting point. Can you show the class specification for drawing tool, show all the methods that are available to it? Okay, I can do it. So uh, on the class website, um, there are the class specifications for the drawing tool class. And here's a method that I was just talking about forward. It takes a double as its only parameter. Uh, it moves in the current direction by the parameter number of pixels from the previous old position. Uh, and it also does a point five a delay. Um, you can see this happening when you run the program and throughout the pro process of drawing the house, you'll notice that it's not instantaneous. Um, it, uh, notice that it mentions drawing mode. Uh, each uh, drawing tool has two modes, uh, drawing mode and released mode, or I'm not sure what it's called. And these can, uh, this mode can be changed via the, uh, uh, the down method, 
uh, void and no constructors, or I mean uh, parameters, and the up method, uh, which works in the opposite way. Right. When it's in the drawing mode, whenever the drawing tool moves, it'll create a line or mark its position as it travels across that path. Versus when it's in uh, released mode, it won't. It'll just move without leaving a mark behind. So what the down the down method, what that does, it puts it into uh, drawing mode and the up method will put it into the released mode or moving mode. Okay. Uh, so let me go back to my program. Uh, these are various um, sequences of uh, steps needed to draw my house. Um, should I go over those? Like each um, step? Well, no, I mean it's pretty, pretty uh, obvious what that particular, like the turn right method yeah. And the, just talk about the, the parameters for, for those methods. Like all right. Turn right 90, what does that do? All right. The turn right method uh, means it turns, uh, changes direction in the clockwise direction. Okay. And the argument is the number of degrees by which it's going to turn. Okay. So 90 degrees, uh, if you did pencil dot turn right uh, parentheses 90, then that would turn it 90 degrees to its right. Okay. Um, and similarly with the turn left, it also takes... Uh, Notice that it also takes negative arguments. All these methods can take negative arguments. Um, if you want, you could also do pencil. Uh, instead of forward with a negative argument, you could do backward with a positive argument. Right, right, exactly. Uh, those will do essentially the same thing. Uh, here's this method right here, pencil.drawCircle. So what drawCircle does, that draws a circle that's centered at its cur current position, and the radius of the circle in pixels is the parameter that you pass to it. Okay. Uh, here's another. Here's some more methods that are interesting. Set width. So when it, whenever it draws each, it draws a line or a curve. It has a certain width. The marking. Right. Uh, you can make it thicker or less thick. So by default, one pixel would just be the thin line. But you can also change it to any other uh, thickness. In this case, I've set it to 60 pixels thick. And notice that it's not a straight line coming from its sides, but it's actually a square centered at that, and that's what's making the line. Uh, pencil that set color. Um, this takes an argument as a color, but so it changes the color to whatever uh, color you want. And so I've made a constructor here uh, to make a new color with these RGB values. So it's this is the red, this is the blue, and this is the green. I mean RGB red, red green, green blue. blue. I'm sorry. Okay. And so the rest is rather straightforward. You're going to have to do some experimenting to figure out what's a good position to put the door and what numbers you're going to have to put. All right, let's compile this. So I'm going to compile this. And you do void main and enter. And notice that it cuts off, um, but it's still defined. It doesn't shut down. But if you maximize it, well, uh, it'll still draw it. And notice these are the windows, which, as you can see, I've changed the width and set the color. Those are those two lines are involved, and this is where the draw circle was involved. Okay. Now, how do you take that code and turn it itself into a jar file so that if a person doesn't have a an IDE at home, but they do have the Java uh, runtime environment, the virtual right. game, uh, they can just run the file, sort of oh, like okay. a, a like a dot exe in Windows. How, how okay. do you do that? So, uh, so here's how you would do that. If you want to create a jar file from this, you go into in the main window. You go into Project, Create Jar File. Okay. Um, you have to figure out which one is your main class since I only have one. It's Draw House. It was the one in here. GP Draw Jar. You're going to need to include that because you can't assume that everyone's computer has this file. Right. Uh, you don't need to do any of those. Continue, and I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'm going to call it House Jar. Okay. And uh, it's going to put it in a folder. If you have, if you press that check mark in the middle, it's going to put it in a folder. Okay. Now close, close Blue Jay, close all the windows. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know what. Happened. So now, if we want to run our jar file, we open up this fo uh, folder. GP draw, uh, it's unexecutable. If you double click it, it won't do anything like so. It doesn't do anything. But the house jar, since we defined a main class, it's going to do something. 
and this is yeah. what it's doing, as we did before. And JPDRAW has to be in the same directory as house jar in order for it to work. Uh, I assume so. Okay, take it out of there and uh, uh, move and replace it. And now double click on that. And now it's not working. Right, okay, so it has to be in the same directory. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, outstanding for